Welcome back to semifinal action here at Volvo Tennis San Francisco. Jeff Tarango has just changed his shirt, a bright yellow shirt, for the first game of the second set. Agassi with the first set, 6-3. And I wonder if that yellow shirt will have any effect on the yellow ball, Tim. Agassi's vision, but I would complain, Barry. Tarango complaining about the call. Let's take a look at that Agassi forehand. It's a little bit short from Tarango. Inside out. That ball sliding away and catches the outside of the line. But it is, it would be very difficult to see the ball when it gets mixed up in, in Tarango's shirt, so I yeah. would complain, and I think he could have Tarango remove that shirt. Agassi on a deep approach by Tarango. So right off the bat here now, a chance for Agassi to break in the first game of the second set. Tarango has played exceptionally well all week. Won a 6-0 set yesterday. And oh! Let and a fault. Double fault, Tarango's second double fault of the day, and what a time for it. Puts him down triple break point here in the first game of the second set. Agassi breaks it love. One love Agassi's second set. Welcome back to Volvo Tennis San Francisco. Andre Agassi has just won the first point of the second game of the second set. He leads 15 love. Agassi likes to play fast, doesn't he, Tim? Really moves between points, triangle trying to slow him down, walking around behind the court in between points. Ooh. Yes, the ball just dropping inside that sideline. I guess he has won the last eight points in a row as we look at the elapsed time on our citizen official timer, 48 minutes into this match. I understand citizen will be the official timer at this year's U.S. Open. Tarango. Thing like Tarango with a lot of the players, they can actually hit that forehand harder on the run than they can when they're standing still. Edberg, a good example of that, loves to hit the forehand on the run. <laughs> Suddenly the concentration looks like it's lapsed here with Tarango, Tim. Happens so often with players who are like this caliber against each other. The the underdog will put up a tough first set, and then when the champion gets his stride going, starts putting some distance between he and his opponent. Agassi on a roll. Ah! Just wide. For a moment, I thought that ball was going to drop yeah. right in the corner. But a sign of how confident Agassi is when he's missing. He's not missing by much. That ball just going wide. So Agassi holds easily now, leading two love and a set. Let's have a look now at our GMC truck 
first set statistics. Very even set, both guys consistent with that first serve, but the telling tale, unforced errors, 18 for Tarango and only nine for Agassi. You can see there, Tarango didn't really make any headway on the Agassi serve, didn't get the break point once. Here is a must game for Jeff Tarango, Tim. He's down a break, down a set, and the momentum that he had going in that first set seems to have suddenly disappeared. That's a great shot. Tarango seems to want to get to net a little bit more quickly in the second set. Look at that two backhand combination. He goes cross court, pulling Agassi out, but watch him move through the ball as he hits this and transition into the net. Enables him, enables him to get that ball in front of the baseline. And a solid ace. Ace number two down the center. Tim, how tough is it to ace Andre Agassi on any surface? Certainly, even Isovich didn't have a lot of luck uh, at Wimbledon. Well, I used to uh, really try to kick that ball up and not go for aces so much because Agassi can return anybody's serve very well, especially Becker. He'll move in on the big server. So I tried to just draw a, sh a short or a high return from Andre and get in behind it because he really is the toughest guy to ace out there. Durango. Goes for the toss, didn't like it. He'll start again. Ooh, bad error there from Tarango. But the other thing about facing Agassi when you're serving is. Got it, got it, got it. Let's listen to what Tarango says. Starting to talk to himself a little bit. But Agassi returns so well, you start going for more than you normally would on that first serve, and you're pressing. Miss a lot of first serves, get in trouble on the second. Oh, Andre thought it was a fault. <laughs> if it is not changed, it will be ace number three for Toronto. I have, right? <laughs> this ball sure looks wide to me. Slicing out. Agassi on the full stretch. You can't see it there in the replay. Oh! forehand and so a game point slips away from Tarango. There's a lot of talk about electronic lining line calling system Barry and the they messed around with it a little bit at the, the U.S. Open I think Tim on some of the outer courts I wonder what the results were. And at the U.S. In, um, hard court championships they also had an operating system the tell system had some pretty good results with it. Just catching the tape, and so now Agassi with a big chance here to go up three love. He would be up two service breaks. Agassi with a good conversion rate. Ooh, just over the baseline. Tarango in with a 100 mile per hour first serve when he needs it. It's deuce. That ball was dipping so quickly off the topspin. This is what I used to hate when I played Andre Agassi, is you thought you were in good position. You had him on the full run on an approach shot, and then somehow he would muscle that ball in a place that's tough to get your racket on it. That was not a great passing shot from Agassi, but he made Tarango work. Yes, Tarango stayed with that forehand. Good concentration. Sets this point up perfectly, swings Agassi wide with that swinging first serve, and then 
guides it down the line. That's Tarango's big strength, that forehand. He might take that floater and come in behind it. But he elected to stay in the backcourt. And so Durango once again at break point. Again, the first serve when he needs it, Tim. Good play from Trango to change it up. He was going to serve and volley. Got to give the opponent a different look sometimes, even though Trango not so comfortable in the net. Takes a risk. And another solid first serve right down the center. back to Volvo Tennis San Francisco as Jeff Tarango tries to get back in this match. Agassi serving up his fourth ace of the afternoon. 15 love. Agassi up 2-1 with a break. He has the first set 6-3. This is best of three. As you look up at those lights indoors here in this huge Civic Auditorium, a lot of lights up there. Not an easy shot, the overhead. And it's actually more difficult to hit an overhead while you're moving in than when you're moving back. So a nice transition shot there from Agassi and finish it off with the big overhead. Ooh. Oh, yes, Agassi, ace number five. Andre just finding that groove. Just all business from Andre Agassi. Keeping focus there, he's using those strings as a place to focus his eyes, not get involved in the crowd. You can see missing with the forehand topspin. But Tim, we had Bjorn Borg here earlier in the week, played a great first round match, and Borg had the ability to up his serve at Wimbledon, hit flat serves, I think Agassi has kind of followed suit. Absolutely. I think all the players recognize that they have to have that big first serve. Yeah, play. that one. Ace number six. And so Agassi now up 3-1. Basketball coming up on Prime. Tuesday, it's Texas Tech against SMU at 7.30 p.m. And then on Wednesday, Iowa State goes against Kansas State at 8.30 p.m. Thursday, South Florida, VA Commonwealth at 7.30 p.m. And Oregon State against UCLA at 7.30 p.m. Check your local listings. Basketball on Prime Network. against Agassi. Tarango really having a hard time making any headway against Agassi, but they haven't played in about a year and a half. I think Tarango a much improved player. 
Oh, no, he, he came in here looking a lot tougher than he was a year ago, Tim. No question about it. Uh, Two-hander goes wide. This crowd trying to get Tarango into the match. the chandeliers oh. <laughs> and that ball gets up there <laughs> and hits that huge high chandelier way up the ball almost lodged up there and stayed there i guess he's very unlucky because that ball was coming back into court would have been a fairly tough overhead for tarango that looks easy to do at home that lob that Agassi hit there that moon ball but that is a very difficult shot he took a ball off Tarango's racket very hardly hit and then changed the pace and drew the arrow from Tarango oh and a double fault as Tarango Goes for a bit too much on the second serve. Dishes up. He's, I'm sorry, double fault number three. So from 40 love up now, Tarango in a bit of a tighter situation here. Ducking for cover with, Ag with Taranga way back there, just off the his, wall. His racket actually hit that canvas back there. Agassi he realizes Taranga's in trouble, and he sneaks in again, gets that big forehand swinging volley. Oh, I don't believe it. Tremendous two-hander from Andre Agassi. I guess he's just taking charge again off the back foot, mm. able to get enough leverage to come cross court with that ball. Trango doesn't even move for it. He realizes if he loses this point, it's sayonara. That's too good. Trango right back with the big forehand. Trango sets his point up with the big serve and then gets the short forehand. Tim, of the left-handers in the game today, wouldn't you say Durango has one of the best forehands certainly, anywhere? Certainly what I'm seeing this afternoon. I always liked Andres Gomez's forehand, mm -hmm. but he's not around so much these days. just putting together a gutsy performance here in the second set. Scrambling around. Good solid backhand. Keeps the ball in play. 
and a wonderful running forehand. And then he finishes the point off with another forehand. This crowd really enjoying the action out here. <laughs> Jermenko about ready to throw it up. Somebody yelled. He's been going cross court with that running forehand all afternoon long. Had Tarango looking to the backhand side, changed the direction, went down the line. Third deuce. No, he has the wide open court, missing the high backhand volley. The discouraging thing is Tarango is just setting these points up beautifully. Very easy backhand volley. You can see he just does not comfortable with that technique. <laughs> Break point for Agassi to go up 4-1. Ah. Andre taking the full swing on a big first serve. And Tarango just keeps coming in with those first serves down break point. Another big serve down the middle. his way to the changeover chair. And like a few Stanfordite uh, <laughs> Durango showing what he thought about that call. No, it's going to go long. And so Jeff Durango hangs in. Agassi leading 3-2 with a break in the second. Welcome back to Volvo Tennis San Francisco. Andre Agassi serving, leading 3-2. Hey. Second set. He won the first 6-3. A look at the average time, and I'll tell you, those are long rallies, Tim. That's what everybody likes to see, I think. Well, there's been a lot of talk that the serve has taken over the game too much. See, there's a short time differential there, five seconds in the normal point, so fans getting their money's worth this afternoon. There was once a stat last year at Wimbledon where they did the average time of the ball in play over a three-set match. It was something like six minutes. Just the opposite of what we just saw. Well, of course, Wimbledon's been the most effective. That's a very fast surface, favors the big server. But I think, actually, Barry, the tennis has gotten better on slow hard courts and on clay because yeah. guys are hitting the ball more powerfully. No, In the past, the French Open could have got a little bit boring with Borg versus Vilas because the average time of each point was probably about 50 or 60 seconds. Durango forcing matters there, comes in behind the serve. Maybe he should start trying that a little bit. Triangle moving in, sets up camp way in front of the baseline, knocks off a big return. Oh, and Triangle <laughs> just trying to guide that forehand down the line, catches the tape. Let's look at the Tarango technique on that forehand volley. Watch him release the wrist a little bit as he comes under that yeah. ball. It's not mm. firm. And that's been the source of his troubles at the net this afternoon. A good volleyer would stay firm with that wrist. Oh! Uh, 
Well, the amazing thing about that ball is he took it right off the court surface. Agassi had come up with a good running forehand. Two second set. Agassi with the first set, 6 3. We should have another fine match tonight. Jimmy Connors going against Brad Gilbert in our other semifinal. Gilbert, the number two seed. Connors coming in unseated, has worked his way out to the semifinals. And what a week he's had, Tim. The guy is playing great tennis. This should be some kind of a match. Check your local listings. We'll have it for you on Prime Network. Jimmy Connors against Brad Gilbert tonight. Oh, another huge forehand by Jeff Tarango. Yeah, that's a smooth looking shot to Tim. Great follow through, great concentration, and he gets his weight into it. Exactly. He keeps his weight with that ball right in the direction where he wants to hit it. Oh! Just wide. Agassi with a slice return there. You don't see that very often, but that ball stayed very low. It always is, amazes me about Agassi. He just instinctively seems to hit that slice every yeah. once in a while. Well, he does that when he gets stretched way out far. You could see Tarango had a lot of bend on that serve. And I guess he forced a release to go to one hand to get more distance, but of course he can control that ball exceptionally well. Oh. Tarango again. See Agassi, unbelievable. Only two winners off that forehand side, which is so low for him. Both players about even with the unforced errors. Amazing though, Barry Agassi controlling this match. And another winner from Tarango off the forehand. Tarango from about 10 feet behind the baseline. It's an outright winner. That is spectacular. Not too many guys have a better forehand number in a match than Agassi. And a miss hit off the return, and so Tarango holds serve. He leads 4-3, second set. Francisco Agassi leading 4-3 in the second set with the first set. We're glad to have our KGO television viewers with us today for this semifinal round action. Great one-two combination from Tarango. Watch him get the weight into this return, and then he sees it. It's going to get good position, and he sneaks in smartly and puts away that forehand volley. 15 all. Tarango has not made any headway on the Agassi serve throughout the whole afternoon. He's been playing well, but has yet to get the break point. Even though Agassi doesn't come in behind his serve very often, Tim, he kind of sets the tone by laying in a big first serve. Gets his opponent on the defense quickly. He missed that shot. He practices at home. <laughs> I can see. Look at this racket control. He just picks that ball up off the net. But this is the amazing shot. The full stretch, he's able to control that ball over the Tarango backhand side. Tarango makes a good go of it. Tarango 
now deciding to put a little pressure on the second serve of Agassi. Good play. Gets the error, but Agassi still at game point 40-30. second set having won the first six three and I'll tell you we have seen some tremendous tennis out here on this center court today Agassi and Tarango hitting the ball about as cleanly as you can our colleague Tim Mayotte has now headed down to court side just in case this match might end he'll try and get an interview with the winner Tarango serving down three five second set again now as Agassi really shows some athletic ability. Both players in the backcourt. Agassi with a nice volley down the line and watch him get up for this overhead. Perfect timing. There comes the racket. Tarango saying, hey, I was going the other way. Durango on a string, running him all over the court. And so now Agassi two points away from a final round berth. Love 30. Match point now for Andre Agassi. Four big points, four bad calls. you can stay focused the entire time he's always capable of coming back and winning it so I knew what I had to do and that is stay really focused and stay determined well, it seemed like a real business uh, like attitude out there no theatrics no playing up to the crowd is that part of a new attitude for this year San Francisco doesn't need that they're they're here they're excited <laughs> by themselves you know they don't <laughs> well being in the finals 
sets up the potential of uh, you playing Connors tomorrow. Uh, how do you feel about that matchup? Uh, well, you know, Jimmy still has a tough match today, and Brad has a tough match today. So, you know, the better man's going to win, and you know, I look forward to playing him on uh, on uh, on Sunday. It's going to be a, a, a tough go, and, and Jimmy's a very uh, strong competitor who's not going to give you anything easy, and so I'm going to have to work for it and uh, do what I have to do, and I hope I can. One last question. What are the goals for this year? Goals for this year? To not lose a match. How's that sound? <laughs> Well, you're off to a pretty good start. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Andre. Appreciate it. Good luck tomorrow. Back to you, Barry. Thanks. All right, Tim. Well, what a very confident young man, Andre Agassi. Again, the final score. Straight sets for Agassi. 6-3 and 6-3.